Welcome to this week's edition of HavenFootball.net's Play of the Game. The Strathaven Panthers traveled up to Newtown Square to face off against the Marple Newtown Tigers. Both teams were looking to improve their playoff positions, but the Panthers face possible elimination if they lose tonight. Disaster strikes Haven on the second play from scrimmage as number 35 Zach Hussein takes off for 7 yards, but gets the ball stripped by number 22 Jacob Simpson, and number 32 Kane Tarkini recovers the ball. The Tigers go to the air as quarterback number four Brian Jocelyn finds number two Kevin Marone, who goes 38 yards down to the Haven one yard line. Marple scores on the next play but missed the extra point and lead 6 0. The Panthers start their next nine play drive, including this quick hitter up the middle by Hussein for 21 yards. Quarterback number seven, Jake Fisher, keeps the ball and makes this leaping, twisting fall into the end zone for six. The Panthers take the lead, 7-6. The Tigers are on the march again when Jocelyn tosses to Marone, but number 43, John Wilson, steps in front and picks it off and returns the ball 11 yards to the 42. Two plays later, number 10, Ebo Pio, turns hard upfield, finds the seam, and completes this run for 18 yards. Nine plays later, Fisher keeps it again from the one and scrums over the goal line for six more points. The extra point is blocked, but the Panthers are up 13-6, which leads us to tonight's first play, play of the game. game. Front again for Marple Newtown. They give the Belleville off the left side. Turns up field, cuts to his right, into the secondary. Safety falls down at Belleville at the 30, 25-20. He will go 60 yards. Ethan Belleville with a 68-yard touchdown a year ago against Marple. Answers with a 60-yard burst. Beautiful cut back to the right. And the Panthers on top by two scores. On Marble's next series, they get down to the Haven 40 and are 4th and 10. When Jocelyn goes back to pass, but number 58, Corey Harris, buries him as he steps up to avoid the rush, killing the drive. With less than two minutes and a half, Haven executes a perfect two-minute drive as Belleville takes off down to the Marple 40. Seven plays later, Peel gets the call and runs wide right, getting down to the two-yard line. The Panthers score two plays later and lead at the half 27-6. The start of the second half brings us to tonight's second play of the game. Three to the right, one to the left, back to pass Joslin. Belleville on the pressure, steps up, fires over the middle, intercepted again, John Wilson with his second pick, up the left sideline, midfield, 45, and run out of bounds, but John Wilson, two interceptions on the night, and the Panthers with a three-score lead. Three plays later, Hussein goes off tackle and then runs right through three defenders and into the end zone. Haven is quickly closing the door on this one, 34-6. But the Tigers have some fight left and launch their own eight-play drive, including this great off-left run by number 34, Marlon Weathers, down to the four. Marple punches it in and trail 34-12. Haven is firing on all cylinders now as number four, Arian Ford, gets the kickoff at the 21, breaks two tackles, and streaks down the sideline to the Marple 32. Haven isn't done, and Fisher finds Belleville, who grabs the pass and gets tripped up and down on the six-yard line. Haven scores two plays later and lead 40-12. Marple is driving again, but Fisher strips the ball from Weathers, and Wilson recovers the ball, ending the drive. Draft Haven secures their playoff hopes, winning 54-26. Next week, the Panthers return home for their final regular season game against the Harriton Rams. Tune in again next week for another edition of HavenFootball.net's Play, Play of the, of the Game. game.